So he survived uh, the situation precisely because of the war in uh, Ukraine, how he's handled it. Many people think he's done okay there. But it does rather throw the party gate thing into the woods. I understand why. The big question is, though, when then almost the whole of the Conservative Party in Scotland didn't like Boris Johnson, they wanted him to resign. How can you credibly say, oh, well, actually, he's all right now? Well, there's and nothing new, though. That's nothing new, is it? I mean, the um, Conservatives have pretty much two, Bob Hope and no hope of actually... Um, being, you know, the leading party in Scotland. I mean, Scarlett, what happened? The Labour Party used to have hold the mantra there. This is why we had a very united political system. But since they've failed abysmally in Scotland, given the SNP a full strong stranglehold, pretty much. Uh, what, what's your view? Uh, well, at the moment, actually, according to the polls, the Conservatives are in third place. Mm. Um, which means that they will not be happy. I mean, yes, I, I completely agree with Lembit that they will, they will be united today. Uh, there won't be calls for his resignation. It's war. Mm. I mean, you know, it, there is a war there. And yeah. so we all have to back the prime minister. They're not happy because the, what one has to remember, and Lembit knows more than me, is that what MPs and MSPs really care about is their seats. Mm. And what Boris Johnson is risking is their seats. They're due to the next time there is either a general election or a Scottish election, they're due to lose a lot. And they know, and this is just very recent, this is polling this week, where Boris Johnson is pretty, he, I mean, he's much better than he was a while ago. So the, Sc the Scottish MPs are going to be pa patient, but they're going to want to get rid of him. But, but can I say that if you, I've been watching this closely, Scarlett, because... Uh, I felt the pain. You're right. I lost my seat when I didn't necessarily expect to. And so therefore I can speak with authority about what it looks like and what it feels like to lose. Boris is currently a liability. I'm not saying that because I dislike him. He's a friend of mine. But I don't think the Scottish uh, Tories really think he's the right person for the job.